Gator, who's your champ? Well, I'm going to go. I'm, it's kind of pushing the easy button today. You know, you get the two games yesterday, but Patrick Mahomes, uh, he got it done. He was playing on a bum ankle. My concern was I was going to come in today and I was going to want to vomit talking about Patrick Mahomes and his bum ankle because I thought we'd hear enough about it yesterday. Gator, he was heroic. <laughs> he was, but fortunately, I don't think they overplayed that card. They came close, but they didn't. Hey, Tony Romo. And I like Patrick Mahomes and I want to keep liking Patrick Mahomes. Um, basically, what ended up happening yesterday was I disliked Tony Romo even more and more. So that's Ooh, fine. Ooh, Jim, I don't know. But the play of the game was getting the first down, running out of bounds with eight seconds left because it gave, if, if he doesn't even get touched, right? It gives him another play where he can throw another pass to the receiver to get out of bounds, some kind of quick hitter and try to get more yards. As it was, it would have been like a 60 yard field goal. And you're not going to make the 60-yard field goal. But he got his team in a position where they could have another play. Now, fortunately for him in Kansas City, some moron comes up behind him and pushes him when he's already out of bounds, and it cost him 15 yards and to get the uh, the kick to win the game. But uh, Patrick Mahomes is my champ. Over 300 yards passing, two touchdowns, he's back in the Super Bowl. No run game. He's down three receivers. And gutty when he had to with his legs. We're going to get a lot of football champs. My champ is my alma mater. CMU basketball, bringing back a 40-year tradition, the toilet paper toss. Oh, the toilet paper toss. Got Dan Marley back in the building, record crowd, and they beat Western Michigan with a game winner in the final seconds. Had they stopped doing the toilet paper thing? Yeah, it was not a thing when I was in school there. It was when I was. My one awful year. <laughs> yeah, they went away. I'm pumped they brought it, it back. It, it's it cool. Wasn't, it wasn't quite 40 years ago. I'm okay with that. That's when it started, I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, yes. it started 40 years ago. Yeah, no, they had it. Yeah, and it actually was kind of fun when they did that at Rose Arena. Is that Rose Arena? Is now it it's Rose? McGurk Arena. Oh, okay. There you go. Fair enough. Chumps. Well, look, I kind of alluded to it. It's Joseph Asai, the uh, the defensive lineman from the Cincinnati Bengals. His late hit on Mahomes, it just gave him the additional yardage they needed to make the game-winning field goal and knock you out of the uh, – uh, the the opportunity to play for a Super Bowl again, it's it, it's so beyond dumb to me. You're chasing a guy out of bounds who's clearly going out of bounds. Why are you trying to push him? Like you have to have awareness of where you're at, right? I learned that from Raz Al Ghul. Always be mindful of your surroundings. And yet he just he he paid no attention to that. He was just hell bent on getting at Mahomes. Frustration set in. I don't know, but you pushed him out of bounds. It was blatant, and you deserve to be penalized. You kind of feel for him after the game. I do feel for him, but it doesn't mean I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be jump. critical. No, I mean, he's still yeah, the chump. I mean, you can't the do it. It's one of the dumbest penalties in the history of football. Yeah. Not only is Mahomes out of bounds, when he makes contact, he's, he's out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Right. Ended the game effectively. My chump. The Cincinnati Bengals in this whole Burrowhead Stadium bit. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't claim it's your house before you actually do it. And and some of that's the mayor of Cincinnati, but Burrowhead Stadium. I thought Travis Kelsey had the best response after the game. (laughs) I had always heard that the, that the players, they don't pay attention to anything that happens <laughs> said during the week. They don't pay. Did where you, would they have heard that? Did they, did, were, they, were they paying attention to that? Did, did, you, did, Travis, did, did it stick with Travis Kelsey for a little bit? Was uh, that maybe some kind of chip they cultivated on their shoulder? Did they use that as motivation? Sure did, Gator. Do you think they painted the word Burrowhead in the locker room at Kansas City so that they get some fired up? I think, Jim, I think... The Chiefs use that as motivation. I think you might be right. We're always told that, no, no, bullets of more material. It's overrated. There is nothing like that. BS. That was the ultimate. Well, Because they were thinking about it all the time. They showed, it was one of the Bengals defenders, and I can't remember, was it Hilton? They showed a little box under his name and said he is credited with coming up <laughs> with coining the term Burrowhead Burrow Stadium. Yikes, Mahomes threw, Mahomes threw for over 300 yards against you at at Arrowhead Stadium. I don't know if it's Burrowhead Stadium or if it's what their mayor did that should be the chump, though. Because well, What was it the mayor did? The mayor said that there needs to be a paternity test to determine if Joe Burrow is, in fact, Patrick Mahomes' father. 